This morning in our series, Road to Inauguration, we meet a man from Virginia who's helping more than 300 people witness history on January 20th. CBS News correspondent Thalia Shores has the story. Inaugurations are marked by glamour and glitz, power and money coming together. Hi guys. It's a world far removed from the reality of struggling Americans like Talisha and Kenny Brown. It was like maybe one step away from actually being on the streets and nowhere to go. Talisha works in a bookstore in Atlanta, Georgia, but Kenny, a chef, was laid off several times last year. Unable to pay their rent, they turned to an interfaith shelter for families with their boys, Donovan, 12, and Dylan, 9. They had planned to celebrate the inauguration in their tiny apartment. This history in itself, I mean, first, first black president, I mean, anybody can do whatever they want to do. In life. But now the Browns will have a front row view to history here in Washington, D.C. I'm like, <laughs> I'm ecstatic, shaking. They'll be part of a glittering fantasy world, thanks to a dream realized by Virginia millionaire Earl Stafford. It was providential. I was inspired by the Lord to do this. Months before the election, Earl had a spiritual inspiration to bring those less fortunate to the inauguration, no matter what the cost. At first I choked on a million dollars and I don't know. Stafford bought a million dollar hotel package of rooms, food and an inaugural ball to accommodate homeless people, wounded veterans, the terminally ill and others selected by social service organizations. At least 300 rubbing shoulders with dignitaries. That's what this is really about, that somehow that we become aware that we are in fact our brother's keeper. The inaugural parade will come along here on Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the hotel where these families will be staying. So the Browns will be right up there with one of the best views in town. There's not a bad seat in the house. They'll watch the parade from the hotel's rooftop terrace. We want it to look like a boutique. They'll also be decked out in donated gowns and tuxes for their own inaugural ball the people's inaugural ball. I know I'm getting fitted for a gown on Sunday and I'm getting my hair and makeup done and a manicure and a pedicure and I'm very excited about that. Like, ooh, I'm a queen, I'm a princess, yay. Is it special because it's Barack Obama? Yes. Why? Because he's the first African American person. Mm -hmm. For this family, January 20th offers something new. Last year was not good and I couldn't wait for it to be over. And now it's like, okay, Maybe that was just a storm and we're good now. Hope for a brighter future. No, Thalia Assurance, CBS News, Washington.